Yeah, I started working on the mounting brackets for the HHO, and actually I think I got the main part licked. There's um, a bracket that's going to go on here, and basically it's this puppy right here. It's already, I got it so it's bolted on there, and that bracket will fit way down in here. Such like that. Just like that, it'll sit like that. Um, you can see that rail, but you can see that now. That bracket bolts right to the engine, and it's all welded to um, 10 gauge steel. And all the studs that are part of the HHO, uh, what do you call it here? Let me see if I can get that on there, dude. All the studs that are part of the HHO, like in other words, where the plates bolt through, they'll go right through the steel. All it's got to do is stick uh, a little washer and uh, tighten it down with a nut. That's going to have you know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bolts holding it in. For the outlet, it goes right here. All it's got to do is take the um, cutoff wheel, cut this out. The outlet goes. Well, it, that's the inlet, excuse me. The inlet goes there. The outlet goes on this side. The bubbler, I'm going to sit right here. All I have to do is take a piece of um, 10 gauge, um, pop rivet it to this, have it come up, and then screw it into there. And uh, I got the 10 gauge out there. Then the bubbler just goes straight against here. This was the worst thing now. I mean, putting a bubbler on in this is not a big deal. It was mounting this puppy, and it's going to go straight back in here. That this this big heavy-duty bracket bolts up to here and here. This puppy right here. You see the bolts coming out of it. I got them taped so they don't fall out. So it'll sit right down in that cavity because this has to be at least four inches lower than the reservoir and the reservoir should be no problem because I got some uh, uh, steel out here this is heavy duty 10 gauge what's got to do I got the cutoff wheel just cut off a piece um, bend it pop rivet it to the top of or bolted whatever to the top of the inner fender and then put the four screws and that thing fits direct fits under the hood no problem so that'll take care of that then it's just a matter of putting the wiring in the worst part is finding how to secure this because this, this this puppy is actually oversized for this engine this is a medium size 16 plates it's actually more than you need for this far more than you need for this engine it's just a 1.3 so um but what I'm going to do though is I'm going to probably put just a little bit less electrolyte in it and I'll probably get, I don't know if I'll put a bigger alt in here, I don't know if I need it or not. Depends. If I'll probably just have it draw like 10 amps like the headlights and I'll get see what kind of gas mileage you get out of it. But that's the big stumbling block. So on to the next steps after this. I'm working on this thing for a while because uh, I had to weld it. Some sloppy welds, but it's on there, welded on both sides it's on there good this is heavy duty stuff and I'm gonna pressure wash this um, before I bolt it on here and this thing the bracket it's gonna get painted with um, rust-oleum uh, rust killing primer and truck bed lining even though it's down there it's not gonna really get rusted under the hood it's gonna I'm gonna have it all protected so anyway that's it's coming along it takes longer than you think